This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a Warlock brand, Tractor Trailer Glad Hand Lock. It is, I believe, the model TGH-10. It was sent to me by Ryan, who also sent me the much lower security Road Pro Glad Hand Lock. I featured this in video 985, so if you want to see this opened in just a few moments, I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. Now for those of you who have never heard of a glad hand, it's the air hose coupling between a tractor and a trailer. When a trailer is sitting by itself, putting a lock on the coupling prevents an unauthorized truck from hooking up an air supply. That means there's no easy way to release the emergency brake, and the trailer is not going to roll. This lock is fitted with Warlock's standard disc detainer core. I've certainly opened them on this channel in the past, but let's see what it takes to get into this one. The first thing we're going to do is rotate all of those discs as far clockwise as they will go. And then I'm going to take out the pick that Bosnia and Bill and I made, but we're going to do something just a little bit different. With my pick kit, I generally keep a small selection of standoffs. They're not strictly speaking necessary, but they can aid in tool stability when using a disc detainer pick, so I thought I'd share that with you today. I'm just going to put this right over the end of the tool, and you'll see it holds it perfectly aligned with the bore axis of the lock. Okay, let's find disc number two and get to picking. Okay, nice click out of two. Click out of three. Four is loose. So is five. Click out of six. Seven is binding very tightly. Nice click there. Nice click out of eight. Little movement on the core. And nine is loose as well. Let's check to see if we have this picked. I'm going to tension off of nine. Nope, we don't quite have it picked. Let's go back to the beginning. Okay, nothing on two, three, four, five, six, seven. Everything feels set. Let's try tensioning off of number nine again. There we go. Okay, I'm not quite sure what was holding us up, but we did get in. So, not too bad a pick. I'd love to see the Mad False Gates. It's something that would be easy to do and would appreciably add to the security. All that said, it's probably good enough as is. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.